Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we are going over the different types of polynomials based on the amount of terms they have. That's how we are categorizing them. So what are the types of polynomials by the amount of terms? Well, there's four main types as far as the names go, and we're gonna go over those here. First, you have to be comfortable with our word terms because we are measuring polynomials based on the amount of terms they have. And a term is basically just a numeral, otherwise known as a constant, so that's just a number, or it could be a variable, or it could be a product of some combination of the two. For that, I'll just write product rather than that whole lengthy phrase I said. So an example of a numeral would be something like four, an example of a variable would be something like x, and a product of the two could be anything, let's say, 3x squared y. That could be a product of numerals and variables, and each one of these individually is one term. So now let's get into the names of the types of polynomials. So the first one we'll look at is a monomial, which if you're familiar with that prefix, or the fact that we're going over this first. Of course, this is the type of polynomial that has exactly one term. So an example, an example would be 3x or 4 or 5x squared. These are all polynomials with one term, which makes them monomials to give them a nice, more specific name. Next, we've got binomials, which as you might expect, are polynomials that have two terms. So a binomial has two terms. Some examples of binomials would be 3x plus 4, adding our first two monomials, or we could have x squared plus y, that would also be a binomial. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that is a really bad addition sign. That's x squared plus y, I'm sorry that looks so bad. Um, so moving on from that, that's just a polynomial with two terms as a binomial. Then we have trinomials. Of course, trinomials, they are the last polynomial that gets a special name for its amount of terms. So for three terms, an example would be 3x plus 5x squared plus 4, adding up all of our monomials. So we've got one, two, three terms, and that makes it a trinomial. Now, if we go up to more terms after three, we just have what we refer to as polynomials in n terms. So for example, we would call, let's say something like, I'm gonna push the paper up so we've got some more space. Let's say we had 4x to the fourth plus x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus one. We would call this a polynomial in five terms because it's a polynomial, of course, and we have one, two, three, four, five terms. So this is a polynomial in five terms. You could have a polynomial in n terms, polynomial in one million terms, whatever it might be, but these are the names we give them. We've got monomials for polynomials with one, binomial for polynomials with two, trinomials for polynomials with three terms, and then from there we just say polynomial in n terms based on however many terms it is. So I hope this video helped you understand what terms are and what names we use to refer to polynomials of different amounts of terms. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or need anything clarified or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything